In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can upload a project from the Versive to Linkware Live and then download those results into Linkware PC. This is a great way to create an FLW file for analysis by someone else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by tapping on results on the Versive. I'm going to go into transfer. I'm going to go to Linkware Live. Now, just as a note, I have already logged into Linkware Live by going into Tools and Sign In. So it's going to go in here and it's going to pull those projects related to my Linkware Live account. And in this case, I'm going to upload my CCTT Fiber 2025 and CCTT Fiber or CCTT Copper 2025. And I'm going to load those up to Linkware Live. Now it's important to note that in order to be logged into Linkware Live, we need to be connected to the internet. On Aversive 2, this can be accomplished by going in and using the built-in Wi-Fi. On Aversive 1, we can plug it directly in using the Ethernet port, or we can use a USB Wi-Fi adapter. So after it uploads these two projects, we're going to hop over to Linkware PC and look at how we download them. And the big advantage here is that this Versive can be anywhere in the world as long as it has internet access. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. And now let's go over and take a look at Linkware PC. All right, now that I've uploaded the test results from the Versive to Linkware Live, I'm on a computer that has access to the internet I've downloaded the latest version of Linkware PC from Fluke Networks by going out to Fluke Networks, Support, and Downloads. Once I open Linkware PC, I've got an icon on the toolbar right here with a little LW and the down arrow that says Import from Linkware Live. So I'm going to click on that and it asks for my Linkware Live sign-in information. So I'm going to put in my username and password, and I'll hit Sign In. It shows me my organizations. I'll select Mike's organization. So it's going to go out. It's going to contact Linkware Live, and it will show me the active projects. So in this case, I would like to download the CCTT Copper 2025 project. So I'll select that, and I'll hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and grab all 49 records. So I'll say import all records. So it's downloading those records from Linkware Live. And we see those records right here. Now what I want to do is I want to save that as an FLW file. And the advantage of having it as an FLW file is that if we need to come in and analyze that trace, we can come in, we can take a look at pair data, we can take a look at our return loss, we can look at our graphs, and the graphs are a big one for troubleshooting. So this will give us an indication of what's going on with that cable. So in this case, I'm going to come in and I'm going to click on my save icon right here, and I'm going to save that as CCTT Copper 2025 it saves as a Fluke Linkware file, so this can be opened by anyone that's got Linkware PC, and we can analyze it. I'll go ahead and hit Save. And there we go. That's how we go in, upload the test results from Aversive to Linkware Live, and then download the results from Linkware Live into Linkware PC and create an FLW file.